Ok guys, so we are into Harper's Bazaar, every look from Margot Robbie Barbie to wardrobe. Uh, I don't know if you know, but there's a, um, a fragrance launched by Zara. Um, to be honest, like everyone started to do their merch with Barbie, like it's the big trend. So Zara did the Barbie fragrance. I didn't try it, I tried to order it, but it sold out everywhere. And yesterday I did three different stores and I couldn't find it. Jesus amazing uh, but as soon as i get it i will do a review of it but anyway today we're matching different perfume uh, to margot's Robbie's look because let's have fun i'm dying to judge some look together we're gonna be like uh, fashion police today okay <laughs> we're gonna judge the look and match it with perfume don't hesitate to tell me if you play with your barbie if you love that vibe or if you think it's a bit too much for you to be honest it's a bit too much for everyone nowadays. Everyone wears pink, everyone has pink, everyone talks about Barbie or Barbenheimer, whatever it is. Uh, it's a lot. Okay, first look is the Vivienne Westwood Couture. <sighs> This has to be one of my favorites just because it reminds me of the doll. I remember seeing some doll like this before and it was really the look, you know, with the big Ah, shoulder pad like this, the big glove. Ooh, I, I honestly, like, I would totally rock that outfit. Definitely, I would wear that. I love the pearls as well. This is something that I do uh, sometimes as well. I have my pearl like this. I, I hesitated to put my pearl today, but I thought maybe this is a bit too much. Inspired by the Enchanted doll from 1990. Everything is coming from the 1990s for for dolls anyway. This this was this was my time, you know. So I'm born in. Uh, I was born in uh, 1992. I had shit lots of Barbies, uh, even though most of the time I had, uh, I was cutting the hair and they looked like uh, punk rockers all the time. <laughs> anyway, so we into satin. So we want a fragrance that is beautiful, glamorous, very polished though. Look at the hair, look at the hair. It's very polished, very stylish. So we need something like on, on flick, you know. So evening look as well so we need something that is a little bit maybe a little bit more warmer and honestly i've seen that look i was like there's many modern fragrance i could think of i could go to very expensive niche perfumery but guys how how can i not pick vivienne westwood boudoir let me tell you how how i don't know uh, this this is just first of all matching the brand of the the gown because this looks very retro to me we need a retro fragrance boudoir is iconic it's got carnation rose very intense powdery as well um it's definitely not for the faint of heart it even has something very warm and spicy animalic in in the dry down uh you know like it, it's very aldeidic it's not a fragrance that you can really rock every day nowadays. It's impossible, but it feels very romantic as well. I feel it's very polished and I feel it maps perfectly the look and the vibe of this scent. I love boudoir. I don't wear it often, but oh, this is so iconic though. Yeah, I would totally wear this with, with that kind of dress. Pirelli Haute Couture is solo in the spotlight from 1960. Uh, literally spot on, huh? <laughs> it does exactly look like the same. So it's good to not see uh, something that is not pink. Uh, it's very sparkling, so I'm, I'm, I want something very sparkly. It needs to have something a bit retro, uh, but at the same time modern. Uh, I, what do you think of this look, first of all? Because this kind of like tulle downstairs like this, since. <laughs> It's the kind of dress that I could never wear because anything that is shaping me like this, I don't feel comfortable. <laughs> okay, I'm going to say something not classy. I'm very bloated, you know, so, so from time to time. And I, I know I would look a bit... <clears throat> so no, no, not for me. But it's a beautiful dress on her. I don't really like the haircut, though, if I, if I may say. Uh, I, would, I would probably put like a look on, on the side, you know, like very retro glamorous, but... It's the look of Barbie. So it's retro evening and even with the lipstick is a bit vamp. So, you know, I was thinking of Atelier des Heures, Pink Me Up. Just, I was mainly inspired by the sparkle. Even though it's not the most vamp look, it's still Barbie, it needs to be fun. It's very fruity, vivid. You have like blackberry and rose basically. And blackberry, you know, it gives a bit that maybe like a darker fruity look. Uh, I just love it for this. I wanted something sparkling and uh, sparkling like champagne. So I think this is perfect. <laughs> 
Emilio Pucci. Uh, this is one of my favorite look. I think she looks so cool just like this. I love the hair. This is actually inspired by the doll uh, Totally Hair Barbie look uh, from 1992. I love any dress that has a little bit of a frou-frou, uh, we call it in French, like a not frou-frou, how you call this in America, like a mm, fluff, you know, I don't know. I love the fact that there's a bit of a light neon pink or green, you know, in the dress. And it's a little bit more fresher in the face, in the makeup. So this, for me, that's one of the best look with the tiny Chanel bag. Um, so I'm matching that with Sakura from Ormonde Jane because I wanted something that is quite classy because she looks very classy but at the same time a little bit vivid, fun, sexy. So I thought about the yellow stuff, uh, green stuff going on and in this fragrance it's cherry blossom mainly with some moody, very uh, chic vibe but there's something a little bit green and it's very sparkling as well this fragrance so I think it would match perfectly. Ah, alors, I don't know if you know, favorite couture designer is not Chanel, uh, it's Balmain. I'm obsessed with Balmain just because Balmain is known for their epaulettes and for their very, uh, sometimes even military look in the way they shaped and everything like that. I just love that. I love the corset dress. Um, this is neon pink. This is one of my favorite look. It has, uh, I'm going to say that to everything, but I love this look. I would totally wear that. I am. Um, Dying for the belt, the belt with the star, with the long earring. Oh, yes, I would totally wear that. This is so beautiful. I thought of a Prada candy. It's not like fully glamorous. It's not fully evening, you know. You need something nice daytime, but at the same time, sexy. This has caramel, it's sweet, but it's not too sweet. It's also something that any age can wear because let's face it, like Margot Robbie is not the youngest actress. I think Prada Candy is the same vibe as well. Like he can be worn by any, anyone. I love the fact that it's yes, sweet caramel like, but it's not the most sweetest thing in the world. I love this. It's sexy, it's classy, perfect. Okay, next one is the vintage Moschino. Oof. I love that too. <laughs> Um, I love little jacket that are stopping here. This is this is my life. Little jacket like this stopping here and the bag. Look at the bag. Look at the hat. So nice. Look at this. Uh, this is from the sparkling pink Barbie uh, outfit from 1964. My gosh, they were wearing that in 1964. Oh my God, like I'm definitely not born in a good century, guys. Yeah, hot pink, of course but uh, something that is a little bit lighter and fresher because despite it's very pink and glittery for me i totally would wear that during daytime even for office if my office accept that you know uh, but um, guys if one day i create a company in my office you have to wear things like that sparkle bows everything uh, notturno fiorentino is a beautiful vanilla but with fresh and spices it's very easy to wear for summertime and it's got something that makes me think of something uh, even a bit nail polish like and even a bit like a, a blackberry syrup you know very syrupy ah so that's a double look from Versace you have it's inspired from the day to night Barbie from 1989 so you have this first look that is a little bit iconic because of this boater hat. I would die to have, a, I, need, I need a hat like this. I have a collection of hats, but I never wear them. Huh. This is a bit too much for me. I love a suit dress, but I, I just don't like here. Like see here, like it's too much chest out for me. And this phone, that's the most asking thing of, of this look, the phone, the hair, beautiful. It's literally like she's, she went on a yacht, you know, just before. Uh, she's cruising, this is so nice. And uh, in the evening, matching pair with this little dress. I don't really like that dress. I think the, the ballerina tulle here looks a bit cheap to me, but I love the corset because it's really like skin-like uh, type of um, pink. So I think it's like really fusionating with, we are, with our own skin, it's beautiful. 
it could look a little bit more luxurious. But I'm not a fan of Versace anyway. I, did, I think they did a great job. It gives me a little bit of a cheaper look than the rest. I would pair it with Oriana Parfum de Marly. Uh, just because this is a full-on marshmallow, uh, uh, white floral smell. I wanted something versatile because she's going from day to night. And one of the fragrances that is hot pink like this and very sweet that can take me from day to night is... Oriana because it's fresh and it's also like super sweet you can definitely rock it during the evening but also it has something powdery and light for daytime I don't know why it's so versatile but I really enjoy to wear it during daytime but also uh, during nighttime And so this is a dress by Hervé Léger and it's inspired by teenage fashion model Barbie look from 1950 nine i really remember that barbie this gives you like a direct like swimwear style like it's a swimwear to me um summer black and white stripe like this horizontal she's really lucky that she's very slim because let me tell you that horizontal stripe doesn't match everybody because it makes you look a bit more thicker. Uh, if you take uh, vertical, that's why I always personally choose vertical if I can. Uh, it makes you look slimmer. Um, so anyway, she can do that, that's great. This is a dress that I will never wear because I do not wear dress that are fitting to my body head to toe uh, because I like to create like a, usually a balance, but uh, she's beautiful. I love the, the haircut, the ponytail is matching so much the look. And I particularly love the glasses. The glasses, I would kill for that kind of glasses. Me, when I've seen that, that teenage swimwear look, I'm directly needed to match it to an iconic scent that any teenager in my years, millennial had, was pink sugar. It's a sugary fragrance, super sweet, super fresh. It smells a bit teenager-like. There's nothing really special to it, but I feel this is perfectly matching. Even though the look is not pink, uh, I think for me, this is screaming pink sugar. Easy, you know, you're going to the beach, blah, 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 blah. Let's go. The vintage Chanel jacket. Oh, this is me. This, this is this is everything that I love. First of all, uh, the color. This color pink is my favorite. This you have to match it with the Coco Mademoiselle. Uh, Chanel match with Chanel. There's no way you can match Chanel with something else. Chanel is Chanel. Even you know, look at the shoes. This is a two-tone shoe by Chanel. So she knows, she knows Chanel match with Chanel, that's it. And when you put like a Chanel environment, you need something very uh, simple under. Oh, this look is perfect. Then there's this one uh, from Valentino's look. So this gave me like a 2000s look. So when before I was in high school, a year before high school, there was a trend of polka dots like this. Uh, this traumatized me. Everyone in the class, every girl had like a polka dot, hot pink top or, or very white. It was all the white with black dot or this. Everyone had this. Me the first, of course, because I'm a sheep. Uh, <laughs> I really don't like this dress. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's not my stuff. I like the like this, like the V on, on the neck and everything, but I don't like this. I, I don't think this is very classy. This is giving me like a very simple uh, Barbie look. So I wouldn't feel comfortable in now. It's not very elaborated as well, but um, yeah, yeah, she's still beautiful. Like, I mean, <laughs> look at her. She's a model. She's so beautiful, my Gorby. This screams a look like Valentino born in Roma. I would pick that because it's like a very easy scent. A popular fragrance, black currant, jasmine, vanilla. This is definitely a scent that is going to appeal to any girl. The Bottega Veneta one. Oh, bah. <laughs> if one day I can take a picture like that, I love this look. Okay, it's a bit tacky when you see, uh, you know, like the, the little dress. Like this, this is actually the mean girl's look. Regina George. <laughs> I know. I mean, look at this bustier. It's so beautiful. That little bag, those little pumps, and this car. Look at this car. So it needs uh, some tacky vibe, but in a beautiful way. Screaming, viva la juicy couture. So you can all take the pink one, but it's not really good. Like I would, I would personally pick the viva la juicy gold couture. It's a 
push on caramel vibe so it's very sweet super sugary it's not very elegant you know it's more like showing off because it's very loud actually and it does have a smell that smells a bit like a doll you know like it's not very expensive smell it's more like a like a synthetic uh, crap but that is smelling amazing i love my viva la jessica <laughs> And that's this look from Prada. So uh, this is again a Vichy look. I love any Vichy look. I'm not a fan too much of that look too because me, I like to balance. Like if I have like a mini skirt like this, I'm probably gonna put like something bigger on top. Uh, but this is very cute. It makes me nearly think like a, of a swimwear. Me, I would take Baby Doll by YSL Discontinued Gem again. Ah, la, la, pineapple fresh look. You can tell she's in summer, you know. So I would totally wear that. And it, it smells a bit like a Barbie doll. A baby doll, it's called like that. And the, the pineapple look gives me something a bit exotic. Like when you wear those kind of things, you definitely on holiday or stuff like that. I mean, her, she can do that like as an actress. But like, uh, let's face it, I'm wearing that on holiday. <laughs> Personally. So, oh, wow. More Vichy with the coat. It's nice as well. I like it. Really like that coat. Mm. It's better with the coat, huh? Yes. Tell me if you would have put other fragrance for each look or what is your favorite Barbie look? Me, I have to say from on the look, the, the one that I would like the most in my collection of looks. I'm hesitating between the vintage Moschino and this. And this. Aye, aye, aye. Uh, don't forget if you like that video to subscribe to my channel if you're new here that would be very helpful you directly support the channel when you do that and that is so appreciated and a big thank you to my super thanks uh, the latest one are here and i want to give you a huge thank you for your help collaboration you directly support the channel you directly are pushing me to to create more of the longer format uh, that i did last time because it takes a huge amount of time and it's usually the one that are not seen as much so it's pushing me to do more so thank you so much have a lovely day see you soon